almost knocked the camera over. Hello, everybody. Um, Brian Otten with the Greater Wasa Chamber of Commerce. I'm the marketing director here. Uh, we're live from the depot this morning with Greg Semke of uh, Christmas in July, um, one of the uh, charitable nonprofit organizations that's a finalist for our 2024 uh, Small Business of the Year Awards. So, Greg, good to see you again. Well, likewise, Brian. Thank you very much for having me. And so, um, this is the second of what will be eight of these live interviews with the finalists. And um, uh, you can watch our Facebook page for, for additional ones. We've got a couple more this afternoon, one at 1.30 and one at 2.30. And, um, and Greg, you're the second one I've done this morning. So welcome, Greg. Uh, tell us a little bit about Christmas in July and um, sort of how it came to be and, and what it is that you do. Okay, well, thank you. Um, Christmas in July charity started 10 years ago. We're celebrating our 10 year anniversary this year, so we got some special things lined up for that. Uh, but <clears throat> it all started from uh, a very near uh, fatal accident that I had, uh, ATV accident, and um, <clears throat> from that, um, God above said, hey, uh, would like you to do this. Um, so I started the Christmas and July charity, and this charity, uh, all year round, I collect toys and gifts and that for the children at the Marshfield Children's Hospital. Um, so uh, every year uh, in July, uh, we we uh, we make a visit to the hospital and we have five six thousand toys and gifts for the kids. And <clears throat> the other part of the charity is I ask I speak all over as a guest speaker to a lot of the service groups and organizations and foundations. Uh, for if they would help me in my mission of, of, of funding a, very, a, special, a special project for the hospital. Um, for example, uh, we put in a special design uh, movie system for the children's MRI machine. So the children watch a movie now in the MRI. Uh, prior to this time, how do you have a, a little child, a little uh, young one to stay still at MRI? You don't. So they would sedate the child. Uh, they no longer sedate the children. That's great. Okay. Uh, what they do is sit, they ask them what kind of movie they like, and they can download any movie they want in that MRI machine. So they watch a movie. They have noise canceling headphones. It's just spectacular. <laughs> it's spectacular. And rather than calling it an MRI machine and all this nasty stuff with the tube, it we call it the Oval Movie Theater. So the kids love that. They're gonna go see a movie. They go into the oval movie theater. They're looking forward to it rather than something that would be very scary and frightful for them. So sure. uh, it's working great. They have noise canceling headphones, so we, so they watch the movie. Uh, we completed last year, uh, brand new. It's called the Kids Getaway Lounge. Uh, so in the hospital uh, there is this area. It's a lounge, and that's for the kids uh, to go and socialize because with uh, children in the hospital, you need the socialization, you know, because you're dealing with mental health and all other kinds of stuff. It's not only for physical, but also mental, that kids can get out of their rooms and and enjoy other people, other, other children there. They can see that they're not the lone ranger in the hospital. Sure. Okay? And they're able to play games there. It's just a fantastic uh, lounge that we put in. Gaming systems are in there. Uh, movie system is in there. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, there's an activity bench, uh, a, a table with the benches, and that that is a a uh, activity a table as well as you can take the top off, and it's a ping pong table. Okay. And you can take that off, and it's an air hockey table. Cool. All right. Yeah. Um, so the kids and and you say, well, hey, those are kind of old fashioned toys. Those, are, you know, uh, the reason for that is that we wanted something that the kids move around. Sure. So you're playing ping pong or you're playing air hockey, you're moving around, you're getting the blood flow. Sure. You're yeah, getting out of the rooms to do that. So uh, we're very proud of being able to fund that one. Uh, uh, <clears throat> last year, uh, we were talking about, hey, uh, funding a the very, very first uh, physical uh, facility uh, therapy dog for the Children's Hospital. They've never had one of these dogs before. Uh, other hospitals like in Madison and Milwaukee have several of these dogs, but nothing in this area to service Central Northern Wisconsin at that hospital. So uh, funding was very, very successful. We're able to do that. 
able to fund this dog. This dog is straight from Puppy On, uh, and uh, this puppy is in training right now. And hopefully we're looking at September of this year that uh, we'll be able to uh, bring in a new employee to the Children's Hospital and, and this dog will be there. Facility dog is there every day, so it's continuity. Uh, sometimes the hospital does have a therapy dog coming in, but that's just hit and miss. Uh, a facility dog is there every day. Okay, so they, they can see the children on continuity just every day. Sure. They, it, that, and it's, it's, it's going to be a wonderful thing to do. So we're really looking forward to that addition. Um, so uh, from the accident, uh, 10 years now we've been doing special projects in and bringing toys in toy, uh, a number of times during the year. Uh, and uh, over the first nine years, uh, these projects, if you add all these projects and all the funding up together, it's over $400,000. Wow. So uh, it is just a wonderful thing that we're successful with and I'm just a part of all the people that work with me to be able to achieve this. Yeah, it, well, and the, um, anybody who spent any time in the hospital can understand, um, particularly when it comes to little kids, the need to have, there's gotta be some fun, there's gotta be some camaraderie, you know, there's gotta be some, something to look forward to yes. in the midst of what sometimes is a lot of kind of hard times. And so yes. it, it's pretty special that you can sort of offer those things. Yeah. You've been a finalist now twice, I think, or maybe more. Is it, is it twice? Two times. Two times, twice. twice. Um, for the this award, uh, you know, the award requires that the business go through uh, an application process. It, it sort of forces um, everybody to look at where you started, where you've you've come from, and, and where you are now. Is there anything that you learned when you went through that process this time? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Every time you go through those types of processes of your like the application, uh, you think about the past because you will be putting trying to put the past in. Uh, in the application of what this is all about. And, um, <clears throat> you know, the Children's Hospital that we, that in, uh, that's in Marshfield, uh, they treat over 8,000 kids a year. That's a tremendous amount of, of children that, are, that they treat. Uh, and the hospital uh, staff there, the child life specialists, tell me, Greg, Santa, because I'm going to Santa, Greg, they say, Santa Greg, you know, uh, you touch all these children in one way, shape, or form. It might be things that you that you funded in the past that are still here with all kinds of machines and pup, patient puppets and VR goggles and all kinds of things. All the children that come in here utilize something that you have funded or the charity has funded. So you you know, uh, you look at that and say. The charity, through what it does, with all the toys and all the other things, uh, you know, we might be have touched over seventy thousand children and sure. their families. Yeah, because um, the parents uh, are going to have a child with the parents and stuff to have them smile and to feel good about themselves and and, uh, and their child that everything's okay. That's what we bring into the hospital through those toys or through the other things that we fund or for Santa Greg uh, makes visits to the hospital uh, a number of times during the year uh, to put smiles on those kids faces you know it's not all it's not all oh this is really cool it's also oh my goodness gracious yeah you know because some of these children have they're in uh, major dire straits with cancer uh, there are a number of children that I have personally um, been associated with that uh, have passed on. Sure. Uh, and for, for Santa to go in and bring them some smiles. Yeah. Because that's what Santa does, right? He's a jolly old fellow. So I go in and if I can put, if I can put smiles on those children's faces, what do you think the parents do? Yeah. They smile as well. Sure. And believe me, there's been a number of those kids and parents that haven't smiled in a while. So that's part of, that's as big a part of me going in as bringing the toys in or funding these special things. It's just the presence of Santa and what he brings uh, joy and happiness to the kids. Sure. So when I look back and, and uh, 
the hospital employees, the child special that's, you know, tell me about that and say, hey, and I get through the course of the year, I do get correspondence from some of the parents through the child life specialist, from the parents or the child, some, the children themselves, um, and and they correspond with me. You know, this year is the 10 year anniversary, so what I'm doing on July 27th, uh, with all the motorcycles that we do, we make a motorcycle ride from Harley Davidson here in Wausau, we'll have over 200 bikes with us. Uh, we're making a ride from Harley Davidson here in Wausau to Marshall Children's Hospital. Uh, Santa will be riding his motorcycle, his Harley Davidson, and we're going to arrive at the hospital and all the kids that are outside be outside and, and they're out there. Uh, we're doing a special program at the hospital this year, so I invite everybody to come on in and, and see the children and that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. I'm inviting back this year for the special 10 year, I'm inviting back children that we have touched uh, over those course of those 10 years and they're going to be special guests for Santa that day. Uh, in in the, in the hospital, and uh, um, I'll be giving them some kind of uh, uh, Santa's Hero Award, sure. some medal, cool. something with those children. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Well, you've obviously you know, you've mentioned this already. You've worked with a lot of great people um, who who support your charity. Um, anybody that you wanted to sort of recognize before we wrap up here? Uh, definitely my wife. You know, um, she's uh, she. She's behind the scenes. She does not want the uh, be with me or not. So she's behind the scenes. She makes tons of blankets and things for the hospital with the kids, and she makes all kinds of uh, uh, things for the kids. And she uh, uh, she's the biggest part of this thing as I am. She will not admit that, yeah. okay, because she doesn't want the one to have that. But she definitely is. So she's on top. All of the uh, my board of directors. You know that that and and uh, you know the with the communications and everything uh, uh, that helped me in that in that realm. They all have the same passion that I have. They all have the same desire that we have. And so we work extremely well together. You know, so I'm I'm so thankful for them uh, to be part of all these things that we do. And they, you know, they look forward to going to the hospital too and seeing the smiles and, and what we can achieve, you know, what we can do for the kids. So, uh, very much them. All the foundations uh, that help me. Sponsorships. Oh, my goodness. You know, we have, we have companies and organizations now that we didn't have in the past. They want to do fundraiser for the charity. Sure. So, they're doing fundraisers. So, they, they're helping me um, be able to fund that project of the year. Nice. All right. So uh, even though I, I used to go s speaking all over the place, uh, all northern Wisconsin, which I still do because I just enjoy doing it because I want to spread the the good news. Sure. You know, Santa wants to do that. But to have um, companies in the Wausau area do a bride party for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a guy that's going to be doing a pig roast for us this year, you know, with all kinds of things. Uh, uh, we have... Uh, uh, um, Lions Club here, Schofield Lions Club, doing a meat raffle for us the next weekend. Nice. You know, and all those things, all those people are seeing what 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 the charity is all about, and they want to be part of that. Sure, they want to be part of that, so they ask if they could do that, and oh my goodness, you know, absolutely. So uh, that outreaching of of help um, is very heartfelt. Yeah. Because when, when I get a phone call and say, hey, we'd like to do this for your charity, oh my goodness gracious, you know, uh, wow. So we know the charity and everybody that's with the charity know that the good news is getting out and people want to help the children in the hospital. Sure. So uh, all those all those people, I don't want to mention names because I'll forget some names, yeah. but uh, they know who they are. Sure. <laughs> Uh, and uh, a, a huge heartfelt thank you to all those all those folks. Nice. And hopefully we see some of those folks um, on the 9th. Tuesday the 9th is when we will announce uh, the winners uh, of this year's awards uh, at a program to be held at the Hilton Garden Inn out in Rib Mountain. Um, it's an, a late afternoon program. Always a fun time. If you haven't registered or saved your spot for that program, I encourage you to visit wasachamber.com and do that. The Small Business of the Year Awards is part of the Chamber's uh, annual business month. And uh, that month this year is April. 
We kick things off on Tuesday, the 2nd of April, with uh, our very first Civics Bee to be held on the, U the UWSB at Wassa campus. Um, local uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders are going to compete for some great prizes uh, in that uh, competition, and it's open to the public and free. So if you'd like to check that out, um, that's going to be an interesting event. That'll start business month, and then we'll move into the Small Business of the Year Awards on the 9th. The expo is coming up on the 18th, Thursday the 18th, and uh, that'll be followed by the Funded Expo, which is a great networking opportunity in the evening, lots of food and drink. And then um, we'll finish up things uh, later on in the month, um, the last week of April, with an HR workshop. Uh, and you can find details about all these programs on wasachamber.com. Santa Greg, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, congratulations on being a finalist, and um, we will see you in a couple weeks. Uh, we'll be there, yes. We'll be well represented. Yes, we Awesome. Will. Great. Looking forward to it. Sounds good. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you again at 1.30 this afternoon. Oh, oh, oh. Have a great day.